Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this triangle ABC, as you can see in this figure, such that our side lengths are x plus 1, 2x plus 1, and 4x minus 7. And now we are going to find the possible values of x. That means we're going to solve for x. Now let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on these vertices of this triangle. This is our vertex A. So the opposite side of this vertex I'm going to call lowercase a. And for this vertex B I am going to call the opposite side as lowercase b and likewise for this vertex C, I'm going to call the opposite side as a lowercase c. And here's our triangle inequality theorem. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. In other words, the side lengths A plus B must be greater than C. Likewise, A plus C must be greater than b and b plus c must be greater than a. So therefore in order to find the possible values of x we must consider these three cases. And here's our very first case. We are going to consider a plus b must be greater than c. In our case this is our a this is our B and this is our C. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. A in our case is 4x minus 7 plus B in our case is x plus 1 and it must be greater than C which is 2x plus 1. And now let's go ahead and s s combine the like terms and then solve for x. So that is going to give us 5x minus 6 on the left hand side is greater than 2x plus 1. Now let's go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides first. So this is going to give us simply 3x minus 6 is greater than these are gone we ended up with simply 1 and now we are going to add 6 on both sides so we got these cancelled out so 3x is greater than 7 now let's divide by 3 to isolate x so we're gonna divide by 3 both sides so we got x is greater than 7 over 3 and that is one of our solutions. And here is our case 2. In this scenario we got A plus C is greater than B. And let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case A is 4x minus 7 and our C is plus 2x plus 1 is greater than b in our case is x plus 1. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So on the left hand side 4x and 2x is going to give us 6x minus 6 is greater than x plus 1. Now let's go ahead and subtract x from both sides. So that is going to give us 5x minus 6 is greater than this is gone we ended up just 1 and now we are going to add 6 on both sides so that is gone as well so we got 5x is greater than 7 let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate x so we got x is greater than 7 fifth and that is our another solution 
And now in this next step, let's consider case number three. In this scenario, we got B plus C must be greater than A. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. B in our case is X plus one plus C in our case is two X plus one must be greater than A in our case is four x minus 7. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. So that is going to give us 3x plus 2 is greater than 4x minus 7. And this time I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And as we can see, this is gone. So we ended up with 2 is greater than 4x take away 3x is x minus 7. Let's add 7 on both sides. So that means this is gone. So we got 9 is greater than x. Or we can write it if we can flip that one over on the other side. So x would be less than 9. All right. Now in this next step, we are going to graph these x values on real number line. And these are our three x values that we figured out. And here is our real number line. And now let's focus on this x is greater than 7 fifth. And we know x 7 fifth is right up here. So this is going to, since it's a greater than, that means it's going to go to the right hand side. Now let's consider x value x is greater than 7 third which is right up here. So this is going to go to the right hand side as well. And finally let's focus on this x is less than 9 and 9 is right up here. Since it's a less than so we are going to go left hand side and here is our graph for all three values of x and now we are going to look for the overlap for all these three values let's look at this one over here and let's look at over here as well so our lower bound is 7 over 3 and our upper bound is 9 so thus our x value is going to between these two numbers. So thus our possible x values are in between 7 third and 9 and that is our final solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.